Alright, I want to show y'all my five hog dogs that I have right now. Uh, these here, these are uh, all brothers and sisters, cat who occurs. The spotted one's a male, we call him Cash. The one with the white on his chest on the left, that's the other male, we call him Boss Hog. And the little girl that just got stepped on, that's Remy. Uh, like I said, they're all out of the same daddy and mama. Uh, they saw a hog for the first time yesterday. Uh, the the spotted boy and the little girl, they did pretty good. They kind of bark at it for a minute and walk off and because they, they weren't sure what it was, you know. And then uh, the, little, the other little boy with the white on his chest, he he's kind of timid. He, he's pretty much scared of everything. He's pretty shy. I didn't like you to touch him or nothing. So uh, we're working with them, trying to get them less shy. But uh, they'll they'll be five months old on the 12th, 2014, here in a few days. So uh, hopefully they'll make a good, good little pack of bay dogs. Kind of got kennels in progress right now. So this one right here is uh he just made a year old last month. Black dog. And uh, we call him Black Dog. He's pit. He catches good, real good, uh, on the ear, on the cheek, every time, and does not let go. You got to break him off. Uh, I saw him get pulled through a fence yesterday, and he didn't let go. About a 200-pound boar pulled him through a fence, and he didn't let go. So uh, he's a pretty playful dog. He's like a puppy any other time. Roll around the ground, play with you, but when he sees a hog, it's a whole different deal. You wouldn't even think it was the same dog. Watch that black dog. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Watch him. Yeah, he's a good dog. I like him a lot. I didn't know if I'd be able to trust him because he was a puppy at first, but, I mean, he does real good. This one right here, this is kind of the, everybody talks about this dog a lot. He's a half Catahoula, half Pit. And he catches all the way. Um, he's big, he's strong. He got about 20 pounds on that black dog I just showed you. We call him Rico. He's uh, he will run one. If it, if the hog hasn't been bathed solid for for a good amount of time, and the hog's not wore out and he's still got room to run, if that hog breaks and runs, this dog will chase him and bark at him. So, uh, but once he catches up with him, he'll bite him wherever he's got to bite him to turn around. But once he gets him turned around, he'll fight him and grab him on his ear or his face. So he's very trustworthy as far as where he catches and and uh, getting him to stop a hog. So you just got to really be ready. If you let this dog go, you better be ready to follow him because he's not going to stop until he catches that hog. And uh, I believe in the right situation, he would probably die fighting a hog if I let him. But we see it too that that won't happen. But uh, he's a good dog. He's uh, he, And he just turned two uh, this past March. So... I like him a lot. He's big and strong. First time I ever saw him caught catch, he uh, he was about a 250 pound, 280 pound boar, and uh, he pinned it to the ground by the cheek. I mean, took the hog right off his feet when he hit him. I mean, it was, it was something to see. But I really don't, I really don't like having dogs on chains. So we're gonna use some of this property back here to build a kennel. We were starting on those kennels over there, but I really don't like the whole wood and doing the concrete bottom paver idea. I'd rather pour slab and build fence around it and uh, give them barrels for dog houses. Give them a little bit better real estate to stay in since they do a good job for me. So, And this one here, he'll move so much on the chain that he'll start losing weight. So uh, I gotta constantly water him. He knocks everything over. So I think a kennel will be real good for him to get him off the chain. But, well, that's it for now.